The beautiful Tanzania, located on the far east coast of the African continent with over 1,000 kilometers of coastline on one of the cleanest oceans in the world, the Indian Ocean, or as some like to call it, the East African Ocean. The perfect habitat for sea moss. different colors. What's up guys, peace and light, it's Traveling Sister. I wanna thank each and every one of you for taking your time out to watch this video about sea moss, okay? Firstly, before I even dive into this, when I first got here to Tanzania, I had no idea that there was sea moss here. I'm just so used to hearing it come from the Caribbean, come from, you know, St. Lucia, from Jamaica and other surrounding places. And when I found out that there was sea moss here, I wasn't even in search of it. I was taking a vacation in the southern part with my husband, um, the southern part of Tanzania, the coastal region, and we were walking on the beach and I literally saw sea moss just like laying on the beach. And I was like, hold on, is this, is this sea moss? Let me find out there's sea moss in Africa. Like I had no idea because I just wasn't used to hearing that there was sea moss here on the continent in Tanzania, in Africa. With that being said, if you've watched my previous video, then I kind of threw it out there that, hey, if anybody's interested, let me know, because we have sea moss here in Tanzania. Wildcrafted, beautiful, delicious, nutrient-dense sea moss, you guys. I got a lot of positive feedback. I was actually quite surprised because I know there's a lot of people out there selling sea moss, but I feel like it's something special about the sea moss that comes from the continent, y'all. You know, um, I know it's a, it's a big population of sea moss. I know there are big quantities of sea moss in Zanzibar, but I'm not getting mine from Zanzibar. I'm getting mine from the coastal regions of Southern Tanzania. And really it's a beautiful area. The waters are crystal clear, waters are very clean. So it's a good condition for sea moss to actually thrive and grow in clean, nice, beautiful, crystal clear waters, you guys. So I'm just really excited to bring this to you guys, all right? So if y'all go on travelingsister.com and click the sea moss tab, you will see all the varieties of sea moss that I have. I have some here with me, actually. Um, I have the gold. This is the premium gold, okay? This is clean, this comes cleaned and ready to go, all right? This comes clean and ready to go. It's fully dry. Um, you might find little things like this, 
you know, these little stringy things. And these are actually, this is one reason why, how you know that it's wild crafty, you guys. This is other types of sea moss, you know, because it's, it's the ocean. This is other types of sea moss. Um, I, I tried my best, uh, me and my, my team, we've tried our best, uh, the sea moss farmers, to get every single piece of everything out. But it is also an all natural substance it's not harmful it's just another type of seaweed y'all seen like the green stringy seaweed and once it gets in the sun it bleaches it out um you know so don't be alarmed all right y'all it's still edible still very um also nutrient rich as well but not as nutrient rich and nutrient dense as the actual sea moss itself so i have the premium gold okay this is the premium gold right here I have the premium rainbow, which this is my personal favorite because you get, not only you get a little bit of the gold, you get a little bit of the purple and the green. A lot of people, I don't see a lot of people talking about the green sea moss, but I'm going to go over it a little bit about it in this video, but most of the information is going to be on the website. Um, and also, I encourage you guys to do your own research about sea moss itself. Don't take anything that anybody's saying anywhere about anything <laughs> for face value you guys do your research okay um this this here is the premium purple so this premium purple it comes in varying uh ranges of purple as you can see this one is really dark these these right here are kind of pinkish in hue this is what my purple sea moss looks like so it, it doesn't all come in just one solid kind of color purple this comes in many different shades of purple so i want to kind of go over the benefits of each color of the sea moss all right so basically they all kind of have the same properties they are all extremely nutrient dense okay and i know everyone's heard before it's about 102 minerals that are found in your body but roughly 92 of those minerals are found in sea moss itself and it's the same for all of the colors across the board but each each sea moss has its own special benefit so think of it as fruits and vegetables okay each color each color of the the vegetable each spectrum of the rainbow has its own specific benefits that it can help you with certain ailments certain things you're trying to treat and whatnot okay so the yellow the the yellow or gold sea moss has certain antioxidants and phytonutrients. So all the plants and vegetables that you see in this world produce something called a phytonutrient, okay? And basically a phytonutrient is something that the plant produces as a defense mechanism against predators, against um, diseases or viruses that may try to attack the plant. It's basically a part of their immune system, I guess, if you wanna put it like that, okay? So each color, each color of the spectrum of the fruits and vegetables and vegetation, it has a specific health benefit that's beneficial to humans, all right? So just a quick, very, very quick, short rundown, and as I said, I encourage you to do your research about this yourself. Each color has a specific benefit to humans. So let's start with the yellow sea moss, okay, or the gold, the premium gold. This gold sea moss produces yellow phytonutrient, okay? So just think of it, just, just kind of put it in the same category as you would put oranges in yellow and orange fruit. So the yellow sea moss is very, very rich in vitamin C. It helps with digestion, it helps with your uh, gastrointestinal tract, it helps with um, inflammation. It's a good, good um, <laughs> anti-inflammatory, just to name a few, all right? So moving on to the purple. So the, the purple sea moss specifically produces something special called anthocyanins, okay, anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are so special because they actually are one of the natural substances that help ward off viruses, that help fight against viruses, and it also helps with brain health. It helps your, your cells communicate better with each other. It helps the de development of brain cells. This is also a good anti-inflammatory as well. So you can think of, how I think of it is, the difference between white grapes you know or green grapes and red grapes red wine and white wine they say it's better for heart health this is very good for heart health as well do do your research you guys do your research and you'll understand so 
this, okay? The rainbow, as I said, the rainbow's a mix between the, the green, the gold, and the purple. Let me get into the green because nobody really talks about the green. So just like almost any leafy green vegetable or anything green that you're gonna consume, you are going to be consuming an amount of chlorophyll. Green sea moss is very high in chlorophyll. And you guys, we already know the benefits of chlorophyll. Chlorophyll helps fight cancer. It helps eradicate free radicals. It aids in mucus elimination. It helps fight against the mucus membrane in your body. It helps to reduce that. For those of you who, who are followers of Dr. Sebi, you already know the mucous membrane to, to eliminate that is to eradicate the disease and the, the sickness from your body because that's where uh, disease cells proliferate. So this stuff here, you guys, the green, that really, really helps it to, um, to eliminate that mucous membrane from your body. But because it has a higher amount of chlorophyll, it's specifically good for that. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you which one is the best, which one you need to buy, which one you need to be consuming. Um, I'm just here to tell you that you need to make it a part of your daily diet. Like, especially with everything going on in the world, y'all, I'm not gonna get, a, I'm not gonna get all into it, but y'all already know, we need to stay as healthy as possible, naturally. The pharmaceutical industry cannot be trusted. Um, we need to start going back to nature and relying on ourselves, our knowledge of ourselves, and what comes out of the ground, what comes out of the ocean, what comes out of the trees. Okay, you guys, we need to start relying on natural substances to heal us as opposed to turning to an industry. So yes, yes, y'all, it's ready, it's up and running. You can make your purchases online through credit card or you can pay direct through PayPal or Cash App and you will be um, directly sent an invoice and everything. It's fully functioning, secure website. If you do decide to put in your card, your, your information, know that it's secure, know that your information will not be shared with anyone, and I'm taking all the measures to make sure that I protect you guys' order because this is important stuff here. This is important. And for those of you um, who are looking to buy, like I said, this is wholesale, 10 pounds and up. 10 pounds going all the way up to 60 pounds, and um, shipping is not included. You guys can check out the website for all the information. But y'all, I'm really excited about this because as you can see in the video, it's it comes from a beautiful area and it's coming, there's no middleman. It's coming directly from the harvesters, you guys. Directly from the people in the ocean who are harvesting this wild crafted sea moss. Coming, we, we get it directly from them. You know, we directly are giving to the people who are harvesting, not going through some middleman, not going through this person or that person direct from the harvester and i think that's very important do you know where your sea moss is coming from because you know a lot of the stuff is grown in pools a lot of the stuff comes from china where it's chemically bleached that alibaba stuff don't mess with it all right um don't mess with it in unless you know where it's coming from you know the source you know that it's coming from a natural source because that's what we need to be putting in our bodies y'all but enough of me rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that if you are interested, you will consider, consider purchasing from me, consider purchasing Tanzanian Wildcrafted Sea Moss. Eventually, I think I'm going to branch out and make a whole separate website for this. I'm definitely gonna be branching out and making powder out of this, all right? So yeah, I'm gonna be doing wholesale powder, sea moss powder and Wholesale raw, just raw. I'm not gonna be doing the gels because, um, you know, just with the shipping times and everything and using dry ice, I just feel like it could be too much. And gel is extremely simple to make, extremely, extremely simple. Um, and you can infuse it with your own fruits and vegetables, whatever spices and herbs that you wanna infuse it with as well. So yes, please also let me know if you're gonna be interested in the powder um, because I can actually send you a sample of the powder in your box, okay, with your along with your your whole Mwani, okay? And oh, by the way, Mwani is the word for sea moss in Kiswahili, M-W-A-N-I. So you guys, get your Mwani, get your wild-crafted Mwani from TravelingSister.com, click the sea moss tab, and that's it. Y'all know what it is? I love y'all, peace.